battery where uh, zinc battery, you have, you have a a um, lot more availability of raw materials. You have a uh, higher safety factor. There's very low risk of a thermal runway and you have much higher operability in wide temperature range compared to what you see with lithium ion systems. For decades, lithium ion batteries have powered everything from smartphones to electric cars. They've become the foundation of the modern energy world, but a discovery could soon challenge their dominance. Across laboratories in Asia, a different kind of battery is emerging one based on zinc. What makes this discovery so extraordinary is not only its simplicity, but its potential to outperform lithium on nearly every front. This new zinc ion vanadium oxide battery could charge 200 times faster, last 100 times longer, and store twice the energy. If these claims hold up, the world may be witnessing the beginning of a new energy era. The breakthrough came from a team at the Beijing National Laboratory for Molecular Sciences. Their research, published under the title Ultra High Rate and Ultra Long Life Aqueous Batteries Enabled by Special Pair Dancing Proton Transfer, describes a mechanism that solves most of the long-standing issues of zinc ion technology. For years, scientists have explored alternatives to lithium, seeking safer, cheaper, and more sustainable options. Zinc, one of the most abundant metals on Earth, has always looked promising. Yet it faced obstacles that prevented it from becoming a viable replacement. Until now. Zinc ion batteries share a similar structure with lithium ion cells. Each consists of three main components. A metal anode, a cathode material that stores and releases ions, and an electrolyte that allows those ions to move between the two electrodes. The difference is the charge carrier. Instead of lithium ions, zinc ions shuttle back and forth during charge and discharge cycles. When charging, external energy drives zinc ions from the anode through the electrolyte into the cathode. When discharging, they flow back, generating electricity. The concept is simple, but chemistry makes the difference. Zinc offers advantages that lithium can't match. It is safer, more stable, and non-flammable. It is also far more abundant, reducing both cost and environmental risk. Zinc ions carry twice the charge of lithium ions, which theoretically allows them to store twice as much energy per ion. They can also be packed more densely because they are smaller, offering potential gains in energy density. However, there are drawbacks. Zinc is heavier than lithium, nearly seven times so, meaning batteries made from it can be bulkier for the same capacity. More importantly, zinc anodes tend to grow tiny metallic spikes called dendrites, which can penetrate through the cell and short-circuit it. For years, these limitations kept zinc ion batteries confined to laboratory tests and small-scale experiments. But the Beijing team found a way to overcome many of these barriers. Their key innovation came from redesigning both the cathode and the electrolyte. Traditional zinc ion batteries use manganese oxide as a cathode material. The new design replaces it with sodium zinc vanadium oxide, abbreviated as NZVO. This compound forms a robust crystal framework that can accommodate zinc ions along with water molecules. This change unlocks an essential advantage. Because the cathode can contain water, it enables the use of an aqueous electrolyte instead of the flammable organic liquids used in lithium batteries. That makes the new cell inherently safer and greener. But water also plays a deeper role in the battery's extraordinary performance. Within the aqueous structure, hydrogen ions, or protons, can move freely. During charging and discharging, these protons travel alongside zinc ions, dramatically speeding up the reaction. Protons, the smallest and fastest moving charged particles in water, can jump from one molecule to another through a phenomenon known as the Grothus mechanism. The researchers refined this effect by slightly increasing the spacing between the layers of the cathode material. That small adjustment allowed water molecules and protons to move in three dimensions, rather than being restricted to a flat plane. They described this as pair dancing, because hydrogen ions and water molecules constantly swap partners as they move through the structure. The result is an incredibly efficient charge transfer process, where energy flows almost instantaneously from one end of the battery to the other. To visualize this, imagine a line of dancers passing partners down a row. 
a hydrogen ion enters from one side, bonds briefly with a water molecule, then swaps places with another, passing the energy along. By the end of the row, another proton has effectively taken its place, as though the original particle teleported across. This rapid exchange mechanism is what allows the battery to achieve ultra-fast charging, up to 1,000 times faster than conventional lithium-ion cells. The results are staggering. The Zinc NZVO battery can charge and discharge at a rate of 1,000 C. To put that in perspective, a C rate of 1 means a full charge or discharge in one hour. A rate of 1000 C means the process takes only 3.6 seconds. Even high-performance lithium-ion cells typically manage only 5 C at best, translating to about 12 minutes for a full charge. The new chemistry also withstands these extreme rates without degrading. Beyond speed, the cycle life of this battery is almost unheard of. Tests show it can endure up to 200,000 full charge and discharge cycles while maintaining capacity. By comparison, a smartphone battery lasts around 500 cycles, while electric vehicle batteries reach roughly 1,500 to 4,000 under ideal conditions. That means this zinc battery could last 50 to 100 times longer than today's best lithium designs. Energy density, a crucial measure of how much power a battery can store for its weight, is equally impressive. Current lithium-ion batteries reach about 500 watt-hours per kilogram at the high end. The new zinc NZVO cells achieve between 436 and 785 watt-hours per kilogram, depending on operating voltage and charge rate. That makes them competitive, even superior in some conditions, without the safety risks of flammable materials. Aqueous batteries also eliminate the fire hazards that have plagued lithium-ion technology. Videos of phones, scooters, and electric vehicles catching fire have become disturbingly common. Because zincion cells use water-based electrolytes, thermal runaway, the uncontrollable heating that causes such fires, is impossible. This makes them ideal for applications where safety and stability are critical, such as large-scale grid storage or residential systems. Sustainability adds another major advantage. Zinc and vanadium are far more abundant and widely distributed than lithium or cobalt. Large zinc reserves exist in Australia, Mexico, Brazil, and the United States. Vanadium can be sourced from South Africa, China, Russia, and Australia. This global spread could prevent the supply chain bottlenecks that have plagued lithium and cobalt mining. It also opens the door for countries to produce batteries domestically, reducing geopolitical dependence. Equally important, existing lithium-ion production lines could be adapted for zinc-ion manufacturing with relatively minor modifications. The processes are compatible, meaning companies like Tesla or KTL could switch to zinc-ion technology without rebuilding entire factories. This gives the new chemistry a realistic path to commercialization in the near term. Still, no technology is without flaws. The Zinc NZVO system operates at lower voltages, between 1 and 1.8 volts per cell, compared to lithium's 3.7 to 4.2 volts. This means more cells must be connected in series to achieve the same total voltage, increasing complexity in battery management systems. There is also the persistent challenge of dendrite formation on the zinc anode. Though researchers have proposed various coatings and electrolyte additives to suppress it, long-term behavior at scale remains uncertain. Another consideration is efficiency. If charged too quickly, the battery can lose energy density. If charged too slowly, unwanted side reactions may occur, reducing lifespan. Balancing these factors will be crucial before the design can reach mass production. As Professor Linda Nazar from the University of Waterloo notes, the lab results are promising, but extensive testing will be needed to confirm whether these extraordinary numbers hold in real-world use. Despite these challenges, momentum is building. Several companies are already developing zinc-based systems for stationary energy storage. Salient Energy in Canada has created a zinc manganese battery for home use and completed safety certification for its commercial prototype. Horton World Solutions, a sustainable home builder in the United States, will install these batteries in over 200,000 homes across the Sun Belt. 
Urban Electric Power in San Diego uses zinc-zinc manganese cells to replace large lead acid systems at research centers. EOS Energy Enterprises has secured hundreds of millions of dollars in investment to scale up production. While the startup eZinc raised significant funding to push its metal-based storage designs closer to market, these developments show a growing recognition that zinc could play a major role in the world's clean energy transition. Even if the ultra-fast NZVO variant remains in the laboratory for now, the progress suggests that a family of safer, more sustainable batteries is on the horizon. Within a few years, zinc ion chemistry could power homes, backup systems, or even electric vehicles. The road ahead will require solving issues of scaling, optimizing charge rates, and refining the electrode structure to prevent degradation. But the foundation has been laid. The zinc ion vanadium oxide battery may not only rival lithium, it could redefine what batteries are capable of. If the findings from Beijing hold true, the next generation of energy storage could be safer, faster, and far longer lasting than anything the world has seen. Humanity may finally be stepping into a future where energy is both powerful and sustainable, built not from rare materials, but from elements abundant beneath our feet.